Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Alright, get ready. I wasn't that impressed. So I know that there are you avid Spider-Man film fans, you know, love this anime, animated version of, of the story. This is the second one that's been animated and I don't know. The animation is not Pixar, it's not anime, it's comic book animation. It just looks like a comic book come to life. And to me, to really enjoy this movie, you have to go back and study that first movie and maybe even branch out to the live action Spider-Man movies and get all the details into your mind. And I wasn't there. I'm not a student of Spider-Man. I see, you know, 250 movies a year. And when I see them, mostly I see them, I enjoy them, and then I move on to what's next. But, you know, I can see, though, that Spider-Man fans would really like this movie. The devoted Spider-Man fans. They will, they're just all kind of little dropped hints or remarks or references, etc., that they'll just, or you'll just go crazy over. But again, if you're just me, like me who goes and says, okay, give me the movie, show it to me, let me be excited about it for however, and then let's move on. I don't want to have to do research to enjoy a film. I'm sorry, I just don't. And I know you'll say, that's because you're so old, you, you know, whatever. No, when I was 60 years ago, 70 years ago, I, I didn't want to study movies. I wanted to be entertained by movies. That doesn't mean that I don't get lessons out of movies, etc. But the animation is good. The, the voice, you know, actors are great. But I, you may consider this a spoiler. I hope you don't. But it's... The movie is filmed where it's gonna, it's, it's, it's at the end, to be continued. So there's another movie coming that's gonna explain some of the things that weren't co totally explained in this film. And I felt like I should have known that going in. I, I would have been preparing myself that this thing could end at any time, mid-plot, whatever. I didn't know it was gonna to be continued. But let me just rattle off some of the voice actors. Spider-Man himself is Shameik Moore. Then uh, Haley Steinfeld, Brian Tyree Henry, Luna Lauren Velez, they're all good. And there are tons of others who are in there. It just was, it was over two hours, which was too long for me. I thought it, it could have been edited and made a little bit shorter and still had the same impact. It's rated PG for profanity and violence. I scored it five out of ten. I know there are people who's going to say that's impossible and you can't say five out of ten. Yes, I do. I feel like it's five out of ten because for me and people like me who just go to the movies and don't research and have total recall of everything that happened in the first one, it just was confusing and it was drawn out. But this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse.